I'm Healthy Foodie Girl. And I'm Healthy Foodie Girl Minnie. And on this channel, we bring you easy, delicious, healthy recipes we know you're going to love. Also, we have a ton of great tips just for you. Girl. And I'm Healthy Foodie Girl Minnie, and today we're making sesame chicken. Now this chicken was inspired by the honey sesame chicken from P.F. Chang's that is my favorite to order whenever we go to P.F. Chang's. Definitely. So my mom stumbled across this sauce that's actually from P.F. Chang's. It's the sesame sauce. So we're like, why not recreate that amazing dish that I love to get every time we go there and make it easier and just as good. So what we did was we made this last night, but I loved it so much as well that I thought we needed to make a video on this because we knew that you were going to love it too. So that's why we created this video today because it's super easy and delicious. It's just like having it at the restaurant and it's super quick. First, make sure to subscribe so you don't miss out on any of our future videos and hit the dinger so you get notifications when our videos come out. Now let's get into this video. So the first thing that you're going to want to do when you make this is get your chicken breast. I took mine out of the freezer because I didn't have any fresh and I took some of the sauce and put it inside the container and put it into the refrigerator and let it defrost overnight and let it absorb some of the flavor of the sauce when I was cooking it in the oven. Then what we did is we baked it in the oven at 425 degrees for about 20 minutes. You're going to want to check your chicken breast to make sure that it's done and the cooking depends on the size of the chicken breast. So. I've re-warmed up my chicken breast from last night, so I'm gonna go get that and take that out of the oven now, and I'm gonna chop it up into little pieces. So now I got my chicken breast out of the oven, and I'm gonna go ahead and chop it into pieces to get it ready for the pasta. And while she's doing that, we have boiling water already boiling now, and I'm gonna add the angel hair pasta to the water for three minutes. Now I'm cutting up my chicken into little squares, and this is going to go into our pasta. Mm. <laughs> I warmed it up in the oven because this was left over from last night, but yours is going to come fresh out of the oven. So now that I have my chicken breast cut up into little chunks that I'm going to be putting in my pasta, I'm going to go ahead now and cut up my cucumber into little dices. You could do thin long ones or you could do little squares, whichever you prefer. I'm going to go ahead and do little squares. So now I'm chopping up my cucumber into little tiny pieces and I've got my chicken ready and I also have my red bell pepper. I have it in a little stasher bag which I absolutely love. You can wash these and reuse them and it's less waste than a Ziploc bag. I love these things. So I put the leftover bell pepper from last night into this bag so it's already chopped up and ready to go for us tonight. Otherwise you're just going to want to go ahead and chop up your red bell pepper into some little pieces. So now we have the chicken, the red bell pepper, and the cucumber. We are all ready to go to mix our pasta up for tonight. I can't wait, I'm so hungry. So the pasta's ready, so I'm gonna go ahead and drain it now. Now I have the pasta cooked and I put it back in the pot. I drained it and I put it back in the pot that I made it in. And then you're gonna go ahead and add some of your sauce into the pasta and oh. mix it around. I'm gonna use about five tablespoons. You can really do this to taste however much that you want to put in there. And you're going to stir that around. Now that I have the sauce mixed in with the pasta, I'm going to add the chicken and the cucumber and the red bell pepper into the pot. We're going to go ahead and stir that all around in there. This looks so good. Mm -hmm. This should be called our one pot meal. Ooh. <laughs> one pot P.F. Chang sesame chicken. Amazingness. <laughs> it is really good. And the cucumber is super fresh and the red bell pepper and it just brings this all to a whole other level. So now I have this mixed up and I'm going to go ahead and put it in our bowl. The other thing that you can do if you have if you have some green scallions at home, you could definitely put those on top. That would be delicious. And I like to top this with some sesame, some black sesame. Oh, yeah. And that's it. It's that simple and mm -hmm. it's so easy. Our one pot meal. <laughs> I'm so excited because 
because I love getting this, like I said, every time we go to P.F. Chang's and I'm just super excited that now we can have something like it at home. We really hope you enjoyed the video because this is one of my favorite things to order and I'm so glad we can make it at home. And we really want to see you guys make it, so if you do, make sure to tag us on Instagram at www.healthyfoodygirl. Thanks so much for watching. Keep, Keep cooking! cooking!